And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Leptoceratops, which was a request from Dinosaur 4602. So thanks. It was a ceratopsian that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Western North America in Alberta, Canada, and Wyoming in the U.S. Leptoceratops is estimated to be about 6.6 feet or 2 meters long and weigh 150 to 441 pounds or 60 to 200 kilograms. It's quite a range. And it's both quadrupedal and bipedal. It could probably stand and run on two legs, and it could walk on four legs, though it couldn't pronate its hands. A 2007 study found Leptoceratops kept its hands in a clapping pose. So in other words, the fingers are pointed out to the sides, not up towards its head like when babies crawl. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Uh, Leptoceratops had short downward pointing horns near the cheeks. It also had a frill and a leaf-shaped tail. It was herbivorous and it had these short, deep jaws and a powerful bite so it could shear and crush plant matter and was probably able to chew pretty tough vegetation. Leptoceratops was probably a low browser eating ferns and conifers. There's one study in 2016 by Frank Variel, published in Pierre J, that found the dental microware on Leptoceratops' teeth was similar to some rodents, and Leptoceratops is, quote, the first evidence of complex mammal-like chewing in a ceratopsian dinosaur. The type species is Leptoceratops gracilis, and the genus name means little horned face. It was found in 1910 by Barnum Brown in the Red Deer Valley in Alberta, Canada, There wasn't the skull found at first, but then later more fossils were found by Charles Sternberg in 1947, Charles M. Sternberg, the son, and more fossils were found in the Bighorn Basin in Wyoming in 1978, and that one's nicknamed Lance. Brown found two skeletons, but they were on a cattle pathway, and the cows trampled the exposed fossils. And then Brown described Leptoceratops in 1914. Some fossils were found in Montana in 1942, and they were called Leptoceratops Cerarhynchos, but then later that was renamed to Montanoceratops. In 2003, a lower arm bone, the single ulna, was found in Australia, and Patricia and Thomas Rich found that it looked similar to Leptoceratops, so they named it the Ceratopsian Serendipoceratops. But some scientists think that there's not enough known about this one, but if it is related to Leptoceratops, it could change what we know about Ceratopsian evolution because there's no other Ceratopsians found in Australia. Those Australian dinosaurs, they keep coming up. Mm -hmm. And if you have a chance, you can see Leptoceratops at the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash inodino or click the link on the left.